Having problems using the dynamic UCS in BricsCAD and getting an entity to snap correctly to another one? It's just a quick settings change. We'll show you how to fix it and get you on your way. Hey, Kevin here, and we're talking about the dynamic UCS or the dynamic user coordinate system in BricsCAD. So what we want to do is we want to be able to draw a, a line or another uh, reference point uh, at an angle and build other entities or draw other entities reference to that line and not the standard orthogonal UCS uh, that, you de that you see displayed here. Uh, so the first thing we need to do is to make sure that dynamic UCS is turned on. And you can see that down here in the status bar. It's the DUCS indication. So go ahead and make sure that that's, uh, click on that, make sure that that's illuminated. Uh, so now we have dynamic UCS turned on, uh, and now we can use it. Uh, so the first thing we want to do is to draw a line. Uh, three different ways you can do that in BricsCAD. One is you can go up to the ribbon and select line here, um, or you can do it at the command line and just start typing in line and get your different uh, line commands here, just like in AutoCAD. But in BricsCAD, there's a third way to start drawing an entity. Uh, that's to use what's called the quad cursor menu. Um, so you can hover over an entity and right click and you get a kind of a list of some AI uh, common commands uh, that you'll see there. Uh, but in this case, we don't have any entities. So we're just going to right click and get what they call the no select quad menu. Uh, and we're going to select line. And so now we can just simply draw a line uh, just like that. So nice and easy. You didn't have to take your hands off the mouse or anything. So what we want to do now is to draw another entity and reference it to the line that we just drew at that angle. So the instructions say to right click and open up the uh, quad cursor again. So we will select um, rectangle in this case. And then you want to hover above the line and then you hit the shift key to lock the UCS. And you will see that this is uh, the lock symbol shows up over the UCS and everything looks good, but look what happens when you go to draw. It basically draws in the standard orientation. It did not lock it to that line. So something's amiss. So there's a setting, because if you keep doing this, you're going to drive yourself crazy. There's a setting that we need to change. Um, and so from the command line, if you start typing in UCS, you'll see a list of different commands here. But we want to select this UCS detect. And it's going to ask you to change the value. Right now we are set to one, which is identified in the command line. We want to change that to three. Um, so this is going to enable the dynamic UCS capabilities within BricsCAD. So now that we've made that change, so we're going to do the same thing again. We are going to right click. We're going to grab this uh, rectangle icon, hover above the line. And now you can see that the UCS actually snaps to that reference line that we're hovering over. So now we're going to press shift and lock that in place. And with that locked in place, now we can draw our rectangle in reference to that line. And we can continue to draw other entities referenced to that line without having to make any other changes than that. It's as simple as that. Just make sure you go into the command line and make that settings change and set it to number three as the value and you're all set with dynamic UCS in BricsCAD Lite. I'm Kevin. Let me know if you need anything else. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time.